welcome to my channel Alice Yummy Food and to my wonderful kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make honey cake but this time it's going to be very different. It's going to be chocolate honey cake stuffed with prunes and chocolate cream which also has a bit of alcohol in there. Don't tell anybody. So this cake is really good. It's so creamy. It's so chocolatey. It's quite rich You've got these honey dough layers chocolate around it chocolate inside chocolate on top Prunes inside very very rich very heavy cake, but I really really like it It's perfect for winters with a hot cup of tea or coffee And if you're a fan of honey cakes, you should definitely try this version now. Let's get started first thing we're gonna do is take the prunes and add hot water inside you want to soak the prunes for about 5 to 10 minutes until they become nice and soft. Once they're soft, drain the water, place them onto a chopping board and chop them into nice small pieces. So like bite size and we're adding them into the layer so don't want them very chunky. Then divide your prunes into all the layers that we're going to add. So I've got here 7 layers. Now let's make our chocolate cream. In a bowl add your chocolate, melt it until it's nice and smooth and set it aside to cool down. In a large bowl you want to add your sour cream and then add your icing sugar and your melted chocolate. So then you want to whisk everything together until it's nice and even. We're going to be adding chocolate a little bit at a time, about one tablespoon at a time or so. And then just keep whisking until your cream starts to become a bit thicker and fuller. It's not going to be completely thick, but it will thicken up. Keep adding your chocolate and mixing everything together. Lastly, add your rum. Feel free to add any other alcohol that you like um, or exclude it completely, it's up to you. And mix everything one more time and your chocolate mixture is done. Now we're gonna make our honey dough. In a large pan, add your unsalted butter and melt it until it's quite liquid. Then add sugar and mix everything together until it is incorporated. I'm using very low heat to make sure everything is mixed through and the butter and sugar mixture is not too hot. Then we're gonna add baking soda, mix that in, and then we're gonna add our eggs. And you wanna whisk at this stage really, really quickly and lower the heat completely. Just keep whisking and whisking. <laughs> you will start to see the mixture is bubbling then add your honey and then start to whisk again. This whole process will take five to eight minutes. You need to stay by the pan and just keep whisking to make sure the mixture doesn't burn. You will see that the color starts to change and it's going to become quite golden and nice, just like that. So on a very low heat, just keep whisking your mixture up and down. Now the color, I'm happy with that, that's done. We're just gonna now add our flour. I'm adding half of the flour at a time and then mixing it together just to make sure we don't have any lumps. Then add more flour and mix everything together. It's always better to add a bit less flour than more flour just in case. Um, we don't want very dry sponge, otherwise it's not going to be able to roll out. So just keep adding flour until you feel that the mixture is sticky, but not sticking kind of to your hands and the spatula. I'm adding a bit more flour and I'm going to knead my dough on my surface after this, just because it becomes a lot easier to do it on the You can find my full recipe at alizyummyfood.com and go check it out, I've got loads of delicious recipes on there. So add more flour onto your surface, the dough is still very sticky. Transfer your dough, it's very hot so be very careful. Uh, make sure you add more flour on top and all over your hands. 
and just knead the dough a little bit to make sure it's nice and smooth and all kind of coming together. Don't want to lose any bits. And then we're going to stretch the dough into kind of a long sausage. So just keep stretching it out. Um, and then we're going to cut it into equal sizes. Um, I've managed to get actually 10 layers out of this dough. Um, and the cake was not huge, but it was a good size. So if you're making a larger cake, you might want to double the ingredients. Um, then just roll the dough into a little ball and place it onto your surface. Make sure you cover the dough with damp towel while you roll each piece, just so it doesn't dry out. Now for the baking stage, just add flour on some parchment paper and just gently roll out your piece of dough. It's very very thin so you have to go very slow and you just need to make sure you get all the edges. Just keep rolling it to a desired shape of your cake. So it depends what shape you want to do. You can do squares, you can do rounds. Um, so I'm just rolling it all out and then I'm going to measure with my cake tin. Then gently cut around the circle. And if you're missing any pieces, just kind of put them back on there and roll it over and you're going to get a nice circle. Like I said, the dough is very, very thin, so it's okay if it's not too perfect. And we're going to keep all the scraps as well. So we're going to bake this for about 2-3 to three minutes at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. That just depends on your oven how long. When it's done, you can just leave them to cool down for a couple of minutes and then just flip it over and take off the parchment paper really slowly. And then leave the dough to cool down. Once you've done all your layers, we're going to keep the scraps, add all your extra bits from the cake inside and then we're going to blitz this on a high speed until you get nice crumb consistency. It's going to look just like this. Now my beautiful layers are done, look at these, so nice and ready to go. Add a little bit of your mixture onto your plate so the cake sticks to it and then place your first layer and then add about two tablespoons of your mixture and spread it around. You want to spread it around quite nice and evenly and make sure you get all the cake bits. You don't want to leave anything dry or outside so you really need to go around the edges. Then add your first batch of prunes and again spread them evenly so everybody gets a little prune in their cake or in their bite. Take the next layer and add the chocolate cream on top, spread it around and we're actually going to put it upside down. This will make the cake super moist and delicious. So place it upside down. So technically we're putting cream on both sides of your cake. So we're going to repeat the process with all the layers, going around with your chocolate, adding the prunes and making sure it's all nice and even. This cake is really delicious, the layers get soaked through, you kind of have that chocolate alcoholic flavor with a bit of prunes which make it nice and different. And the honey dough layers of course are super moist and soft. Once you've finished your cake, we're not going to add the cream onto our top layer because we're going to cover it in chocolate ganache. So you want to go around with your knife and sort of clean up the cake. And then I've got my crumbs which I'm going to use just on the sides. So using your hand, use the crumbs to cover up the chocolate bits. And then place the cake into the fridge while we make the chocolate ganache. In a bowl add your chocolate, butter and double cream. And microwave this until it's all completely melted. And make sure you don't burn the chocolate. So mix everything together and then you will see the chocolate is nice and glossy. We're going to leave it aside to set for a little bit before pouring onto the cake. And then when it's ready, you want to pour it down using a spatula. Create any sort of look that you want for the cake. I wanted to make sure it's covered on top and has little drips on the side. Mm -hmm. 
this cake is so delicious guys especially if you like chocolate to decorate it i'm adding some meringue cookies on top i'm adding crushed meringues in the middle and then going around with my chocolate ganache that's left over and sort of decorating it further feel free to do whatever you want guys it's completely up to you now leave the cake in the fridge overnight or at least six to eight hours and then when it's ready we're gonna slice up it goes through really really easily chocolate and honey has combined into one amazing cake and look at that beauty guys you want to serve it at a room temperature because then the chocolate melts a little bit and it tastes very very different and very good so here you go guys i really hope you try this uh it's very very delicious and yeah just look at this <laughs>